so welcome all so in this video we will see how to use the uh, git push and pull request so how we can import a particular project from your github to your local repository or else let's say that you have some project in your local folder and you want to put it to the server or you want to push to the server so we'll see that so as the picture says so here you can see this is your local repository where your project is there okay so the uh, so we'll see one by one step by step okay so for that i'll open eclipse so let's say that i have this project which i want to push it to the github okay so what i will do first thing i'll create an account in the github okay so and before to that what you need to do you have to install the git so what you can do here git download you can search here so here you can see the git download so here for if you are using mac operating system linux or windows with respect to your operating system you have to install the git actually now what exactly this git do this git will provide you certain commands that will be helpful for you to perform certain operations that is nothing but your push and pull okay so that we will see so first prerequisite is that you need to install the git for your respective operating system okay so that is one thing and the next thing is that you have to go to the github.com and you have to create a new account if you have already an account well and good so you need not to worry about that okay so if you log into the github it looks something similar so what you need to do go here and create a new repository okay so here what you can do so let's say that i'll say java step by step examples some name you have to give here okay and here the same thing let's select this one and leave uh, everything else as it is so what you have to do you have to click on this create repository now you will get a quick setup uh, screen here so here what we need to do we have to note this url i'll tell you where to use that url okay so what you have to do you have to go to your command prompt and you have to navigate to your project folder where exactly your project is residing okay so what i will do cd and then i'll go to eclipse yeah and then i have to go to so here let's see what and all projects are there so here i need to push this code java into my github account to this project to this repository okay so what i will do here i'll go even under this folder so code java okay now i am here so what you need to do the first thing you need to put this command that is git init so what exactly this does this will initialize your folder that is uh, that is related to your github so what it will do once you click on this what it says see here you can see on this code java folder it created one git as a file actually now this file is a hidden file that's why it starts with a dot actually so this is a hidden file and which will contain all the information related for the github push and pull request okay so that is the first part now the second part you need to see what and all files you want to push it to this project okay so sometimes you might want to push only selected f files only from that but for now what i am going to do i'll put all these files into the github okay so here what i will do git add and i'll space and put a dot dot means all files i want to include actually so it will include all your files once you are done with that you can now there is a git command that says git status now what it will show it will show all the files that you uh, i mean the, so green color means it is including all these files that you are going to push to the github okay so just to check if every all the files are listed here or not okay so once you are sure about that you have to commit it now there is a command called git commit so every command you need to use as a git so that the the, com the controller will understand that this is a git command and it is only meant for the github okay and this git how it is recognizing by the software you install from the git download here 
from this location okay so git commit hyphen m and you have to give a comment here so what exactly you are pushing there so let's say that i'll say java code base okay so some comment you need to give here so that you can identify yes this is what the changes were okay so enter here now you can see here now everything become committed here okay so once you are committed now where exactly you want to push now till now what it happened it created a index kind of a structure here if you see in this picture here so i had a project here under my eclipse uh, workspace what i did i have included all the folders that i want to push so it created an index which will be kind of a staging actually we say so it will stage all your file structure there once it is done it will do a commit so once we are committing it is preparing that stage to push to the github now the second command i will put it here is the so now where exactly we are going to do so this will be remote actually we want to add remotely right so git remote add and then what you need to do you need to put that url actually so origin so where exactly is that so remember we had copied that uh, what do you call that url now where is that url that url is here now this url so git remote add origin means we have to say that where exactly i am going to import or sorry export to there okay so now here i will put it as enter okay so now once you are done with that the next thing you need to push it now what it will do so it, now your url is ready so your source is already determined your destination is set now the second thing is you need to do push actually so git push hyphen u and remember this is for first time only because at the second time let's say you added some more files into your local repository you need not to every time do git remote add because it will that dot git folder rem remember dot git got created initially that will determine where exactly we want to push it so next time you can just say git push origin master so that whatever the changes you have made to your local repository that will be pushed to the github now for so whatever the procedure we did everything you need to do except this git init so git init you don't need because this will be again for the first time only now from the next time onwards whenever you do you can start it from git add dot only okay and this will be also for the initial for the first time setup only so git push hyphen u and then where exactly you want to push it so if you know here git here we will have we will be having different branches actually now by default it will be master branch only okay so i am pushing to the master branch so now enter now it will take some time because it will pick all the files that you want to push to the github okay so what it is telling see here everything it puts to the github so it's saying done now how do you verify that so if you say here git status then you can see nothing to commit so here everything is already up to date now let's go here and try to refresh this okay here you can see java code base we had done here one command right here git commit hyphen m and then we given certain message i think below to the status check yeah here so git commit hyphen m java code base so this means it determines what and all the uh, files you push to there because every time you are pushing the file you need to know what is that file is all about okay so this is what here now all the files should be inside this whatever the packages you created in this eclipse everything is there inside okay so those things you can get it now next time whenever you want to so let's say that you added some more packages into this directly just say git add space dot and then git commit and then git push so that is all about your git push now now let's see a scenario where so i'm not the user so let's say that you are the user who want to get the data from here to your local file so you need not to create a repository because you don't need anything in the github you just want to pull the data so here if i go to this project 
so let's say this is my remote or somebody's repository and i want to pull it to my local folder repository so for that you have to go to your folder structure and create a file here let's say that this folder actually so java project let's say and here i need to open my terminal let's close this okay so here what i will do get in it and then i want to pull the data from there right so what i will do get clone and then remote url now remote url you have to get that existing remote url so existing projects that url and this should be my this should be clone actually not okay now when you do that what it is doing cloning now if you traverse through your location here java project yes so here you can see all the details of that okay so everything whatever you have the project here now what you can do that particular folder this java project you can import or you can open it by using your eclipse editor and you can work on that and you can practice on that so this is the way you can clone it now let's say the uh, owner of this project they have added some more files into this and now you want to pull those details so what you can do you can copy this url and you have to go to your folder structure where exactly you want to pull the those details so it should be under here and here what you can do git pull origin master so here because i have all the files are already downloaded for me so i can't have some more files to download it okay so if you if any other files got added here then you can so let's try in this way so what i can do i will create a new file here so let's say that uh, some test file okay and here i will say test.md okay so here let me commit it so now here you can see there is a new file i have added so let's say that for trial reason to show an example i have added this file now if i do a git pull origin master so here you can see one file got added here one plus means it means that one file got added now if i put ls here i can see the bin folder source folder and also test test.md that is a new folder what a new file that i created here so this is the way you can pull the file okay so that's all about this git push and pull if you have any questions please do comment or send me an email and stay tuned with our new some more video topics thanks for watching